need the car that's off the hook. Off the hook. Old school dope look. dope look. Paint job got them shook. You are now listening to a power like requires a hustle presentation. Yo, what up, world? This is King Cold the Rapper. I'm hanging out in the brand new Rabbit Hole studio with Cooper Poco. Say what up, Cooper. What up? Yo, man, so we have some great topics for you this evening on our second episode of the uh, legendary podcast that we have, uh, Power Plays with King Cold the Rapper. Power Plays. Power Plays. Anywho, so... Uh, Looking around, we are hanging out in the new Rabbit Hole Studio, which is equipped with a state-of-the-art brand new computer system. We got black lights, our our dopest posters on the wall. It's foamed out, you know. Brand a, new foam. Yeah, badass acoustic uh, bass trap in the corner, baby. You know, you got a Australian performance pad uh, for your feet. You know, if you ain't dude, that was my idea on Jesus. So um, when rappers everywhere have those in their studio, you know, King Cope the rapper had that shit first, baby. It's all about luxury. That's you know. what we call quality, folks. It is, man. But yo, we've got black lights in here. This is tight. Eventually, I'll have a lava lamp. I'm ashamed of myself for not Ooh. having one yet. So, your boy King Cold the Rapper uh, put out his Rabbit Hole CD, and it's available everywhere, everywhere, every digital outlet um, in the entire world. Um, we also have uh, hard copies available at kingcold.bigcartel.com, um, and uh, we've been killing it, having a great time with music, enjoying life, and... Um, Cooper Poco, here's where we're at in the world. Um, we have wrestling events coming up. When? Okay, here's what we got. And, dude, this is ridiculous um, just how how much I got going on. Okay, so May 4th, which is tomorrow, I'm in Odin, Indiana. May 18th, I'm at NFW at the Metro Sports Center in Evansville, Indiana. May 19th, I'm at the Tracy Smothers Seminar in Vincennes, which is going to be lit, baby. So, I'm going to plug that, too. Tracy Smothers Seminar, May 19th, Vincennes, baby. You gotta, gotta go if you are a wrestler of any age. Tracy Smothers is one of the last greats left. This man wrestled a bear. I'm not playing with you, baby. This dude is the genuine article as far as wrestlers go. He's been there. He's seen it all. ECW, WWF, WCW. If there's a W in that motherfucker, Tracy Smothers was, was dominating that, man. Stacking He's, it up. Dude, he is an absolute... Uh, just a class act, a great human being, and um, it, really one of the better people in the world left that you can go and learn from. You know, I talked to him myself outside of the Metro Sports Center one night, and I was just like, "Man, when you're when you're gone, um, like it's 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 gonna be rough because you're the last one left, baby." And he was like, "You know, there's a couple others, but yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. You know, and it's just one of those things where like he is a living legend, and um, you know." You will literally be able to learn from this man personally May 19th at the seminar. You know what I'm saying? Vincent's Indiana. Vincent's Indiana costs just $25, baby. Bring your dues and pay them. It's good shit. Two hours. All right. So to recap, May 4th, tomorrow, Odin, Indiana. Your boy is booked there, River City Saints. May 18th. NFL Metro Sports Center. We're wrestling and it's going to be lit, baby. It's going to be a great time. Great time. On God, we're wrestling Pizza Kid. And we're, Pizza kid. And we're wrestling Canadian Kids Kid, you know. And um, I'm hyped for it, man. Awesome. It's dope. And so is um, Colton. You know, I'm, dude, I love, love working those kids. They're super tough. Super fucking tough, baby. And uh, May 19th, Tracy Smothers Seminar, Vincennes. Good stuff, baby. It is going to be dope. No doubt. Um, so, rolling on. So, you have your Africa trip coming up. I do. Okay. 
So when are you rolling out for that? June 6th through the 20th. Amazing. Tremendous, dude. If you want to donate to Cooper's trip, holler at us. Inbox us on Facebook. You can absolutely do that, baby. Or drop an, uh, uh, a comment in, in the comments below on the YouTube. And uh, we'll get at you. We absolutely appreciate it for a good cause. This man's going over to Africa and um, doing good things over there, man. Doing good, good shit. Right. Inbox me name, address. I'll get you on my list. And from on there, we'll have a place for you to donate. Good stuff. Good stuff, baby. All right. So, things that aren't as good. This week, um, Star Wars legend... Um, Peter William Mayhew. Peter William Mayhew passed away, man. For those of you that don't know who that man is, he played Chewbacca. And um, Cooper, can you do a Chewbacca noise? <laughs> <laughs> Worst Chewbacca noise ever. I swear to God, I made him do it hey, earlier. Hey, you asked, you shall receive. I made him do it earlier, and I popped for it because it was so horrible. And did I popped for it again because it's so horrible. But um, no, man, it's, it's really sad that um, a, a, a legend such a, a, as Peter William Mayhew passed away. Right. He died on the last day of last month. Did he really? That's really? so sad, man. So sad. He had a few minor roles, but we all know him as Chewbacca. Yeah, no doubt. His last Star Wars movie was the Solo movie. He was in the Han Solo movie, no doubt. That's that's really cool, too, that he literally was in the first Star Wars movie. From and then that beginning one. to Yeah, end. dude, that's really crazy, man. That really is. It's super sad, too, because, um, you know, he passed away and Leia passed away. Right. So sad. Almost two people in the same year. Yeah, super sad, man. But it, it's how it works sometimes. Um, so what else was he in? What else was he in? Yes, what does that man know there for? So, mainly Star Wars, as I said. Well, yeah. Um, Film-wise, he was in Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Okay. Star Wars in the movie Terror as a Mechanic. Okay. He was also in Dragon Ball GT... A Hero's Legacy. Tremendous. He was as Shusha. He even was in the uh, Star Wars special, the holiday special, during Christmas. A lot of people say that was bad, but uh, he's in it to win it. Muppet <laughs> Show, Dark Tower, Star Wars. He even made an appearance in Glee in 2011. <coughs> That's tremendous. So that man, that man lived life. He really did. It really did. So, uh, shout out to you, Peter William Mayhew. Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Chewbacca. Okay, so, on to more uh, movie news. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Let me, let me, let me, oh my God. Let, okay, first of all, there is a petition to change Sonic's look in the movie. Can you elaborate on that, Cooper Poco? Well, a lot of people didn't like it. He looked a little bit too humanoid from his body features to his eyes. He just was not the image we all picture in our head. Full f furry arms, not oversized glove or nothing, just was not the picture. His We've shoes all... was whack. His shoes were whack. His it's, shoes it just was, was not the image. I'll be honest all with you. Sonic is not on. allowed to have whack shoes. The only reason why he should have whack shoes is if he finds the speed shoes. Later, you know, and here's the thing, what I'm beefing with, with the whole thing. For, uh, there's a multitude of things I'm beefing with, all right? Number one, uh, the furry Sonic, no. That's all, <laughs> dude, it's atrocious. It was so bad, like he looks more like an angry bird than he does look like Sonic. Mm -hmm. um, Jim Carrey's look is atrocious. Dr. Robotnik's fat. Uh, Dr. Robotnik um, also was trying to take over the world. And was changing little animals into robots. And I didn't see any of that. Which right. I'm beefing with. And I know that they probably did that for like a pet reason. But at the same time, um, it's the not plot. real. It's not fucking real, bruh. No one should be offended if Sonic gets crushed by something. Um, it's, it's, it's not real. It'll be okay. But the whole sparking debate was when that trailer came out. Horrible. And I tell you. Twitter murdered that movie. There was a petition going around that they are now going to change the look. 
And you know what's crazy is that we live in a world where we can change things before it even happens. And that's good and that's shitty at the same time because we need horrible movies. And realistically, I'm almost mad at myself for beefing with it so bad because how good should a Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie really fucking be? I should be honored that Jim Carrey even fucked with it. But at the same time, I can't get over the fact that um, he did that cutesy shit in the trailer. And like he just reminded me too much of his character from um, Unfortunate Events. So, you know what I'm saying? Or a series of Unfortunate Events. So do you know what the plot is behind the movie though this time? Really bad shit, but go on. The... The short little trailer part, this is from Jim Carrey as Robotnik. He says, I am Dr. Robotnik, and I'm going to destroy my, so my son Sonic, who was turned into a rat monster by vaccines. Hold up. <laughs> that was posted by Mr. Tweets, otherwise known as a pixelated boat. <laughs> <laughs> Mad trolling, bruh. Mad trolling. He, he goes, mate, he continues saying, maybe that California court was too harsh when it sentenced Jim Carrey to appear in this movie for causing the measles outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Rough, baby, man. <laughs> Poor Jim fucking Carrey, man. They're, they're still <coughs> continuing to trash it, relating it to uh, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Detective Pikachu is the new Marvel Comic Universe, and the Sonic the Hedgehog movie is the new <laughs> DC Universe. <laughs> That's so rough, baby. You know what's crazy, too, is you wouldn't think that a Pikachu movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds would even work. Whatever, though. Yeah, look, America's gonna like what America likes, but damn, what the fuck? You know, someone wrote a uh, poem about this movie, about their sadness. Oh, break it down. His name is Boss Wombat. You can find him on Twitter. Boss Wombat, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Let's get it. We, we are blue and speedy guys, living in a hedgehog's paradise. I know a fox that flies, living in a hedgehog's paradise, grabbing rings, earning extra lives, living in a hedgehog's paradise, the evil Robotnik tries, living in a hedgehog paradise. <laughs> Bars, baby. Bars. What is that man's name? His name is Boss Wombat. Boss Wombat, I am, I am forever following you, you on Twitter. You, you know, they gave uh, the Sonic of the movie... Human teeth. What? Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Hold up. They gave who in the movie? Human? Sonic. Why would he have human teeth? I guess he kind of did, but that's super weird anyways. No, maybe... I don't know. Maybe he already... I know he liked chili dogs, and I didn't see any mention of chili dogs on mm, beef. Chili dogs. Chili dogs was a big deal, right. man. And, like, where in the fuck is, is, is Tails even in the trailer? I didn't see I him. I did not see him. It might be something that they well, say for the end of the movie. Well, it's a Sonic movie, maybe. And, dude, here's the thing. Like, maybe at the end he'll find his friends. He <laughs> saves Tails and, like, Tails' friends in the end of the first one, doesn't he? Oh, man. Like, am I just being ridiculous about that? But doesn't he save, yeah. like, the world in the end of the first one? And uh -huh. then when he goes into the second one, Tails is, like, his little buddy in it. I'll be honest with you, man. Like... The Sonic the Hitchhiker games on Sega, like, dude, they know what they're doing by playing into kids that are our age now because we're old enough to have money. So, like, we would be interested and want to take our kids. But, like, they've been kind of, like, revamping Sonic over the years anyways. Right. And, but, dude, that's... Mm, that's an extreme overhaul. I hate that we're spending so much time trashing the Sonic movie because dude it is somebody's art it is somebody's design and I don't want to be that guy but 
Yeah, you know, that's everybody's beloved bro. Sonic. I think it's just because we're so protective of everything now, man. And, like, we don't want something that we love so much done. You know, but then we might just be old people. Because, like, when they redid the Ninja Turtles, I was horrified with it. Like, I hated everything that did with it. But you have to think, within. every time they make a video game movie, how does it end? You know what? Don't say they're all bad. Because I will fight someone if they say the Mortal Kombat movies were bad. Those first motherfucking two were my lifeblood as a kid. <laughs> I will kick you in the pit, bro. I, I liked how cheesy the Street Fighter movies Look, were. Look, I mean, Jean-Claude Van Damme was the shit and still is, dude. Like, for real. He's a tough motherfucker. Um, he does his weight in coke. And he doesn't die. Um, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Tough, tough fucking dude. And, um... Uh, the, the supporting actors in that movie were surprisingly good, but <coughs> what they did with some of the uh, characters was dog shit. Like, they made Zangief real weird, um, but like, I don't know. I kind of appreciated it, but kind of didn't. I'd have to rewatch it again, but dude, a bunch of those 90 movies were kind of rough. Even if you go back and watch The Terminator, like, you see, like, blips in it where, like, the editing could be better. But, like, we're just comparing it to yeah, what today's standards yeah. is. Like, um, you see movies where they'll have a dragon in it from the 90s and you're like, fuck, that looks bad. But, like... And I then mean, nowadays we're like, it's all CGI. Yeah, dude, it's all CGI now. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way that life is Where's now. the craft? The big budgeting. Uh, man, I think that they've cut back on a lot of that now. You know what I'm saying? Because Dude, I still think with the technology they have today, they could totally do robotics. Yeah. Do some epic stuff with that. Like a whole movie. A whole of, movie. I bet they could. But that's almost scary that but, they but could But think that. about it. I mean, they could have done it with another Jurassic Park movie. Come on, man. You know how many, how many dinosaur robots they have? All the shows they do, dude, they can do an epic one. I mean, look at how many dinosaur movies, that, or how many dinosaur robots they have in, like, um, uh, I think it's Universal Studios has a Jurassic Park ride, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm yeah. wrong about yeah, that. Yeah, they, they own the rights. But, no, they have a, um, it, it's like during Halloween, they're only, like, one week of Halloween. They change the entire park and make it super scary. And, like, they have this really fucked up haunted house ride where they have, like, this big mechanical dinosaur that comes out of nowhere. Epic. And, dude, it's, like, really cool to think that that might be where our world takes us. So, besides the new album, you working on anything with your music? Oh, okay. Who you working with? <laughs> okay, here's what we got going on. All right? Me and Ron Different Kind of Man are working on this masterpiece. It's the follow-up to Rabbit Hole. It's the follow-up to Rabbit Hole, and it is called Through the Quicksilver. And this album is dope. Dude, it is so good. We currently have a single off of it called I Need a Car, and it is spinning on 91.5 right now. Not like right now, but like it's in rotation. 91.5. Shout out John B, baby. Thank you. Because see on the wall of the Rabbit Hole Studio, we got a badass uh, Riddle Box CD. And dude, look at it. It's It hits that black light Glow, perfect. Dude, dude I had dark. to put it up there, baby. I just knew that it would shine like that. And the reason why I bring that up is on my albums... When, when, like, I always try to come up with a big, elaborate, crazy um, cover. And, dude, I come up with the idea for it, like, the basic idea. And then, dude, I let the artist go nuts. So, whether it's Brandon Gabriel or, like, my wife worked on the first one. You know what I'm saying? And um, Brandon Gabriel did the third one. And then James Drums did the fourth one. He did Drink Alone and that whole design. And, dude, I let him go nuts on that. And, dude, he knocked it out the park on that. And uh, Justin Parker fucking slaughtered a uh, rabbit hole and made a great design off of that. So, we're going to find somebody. I might, I might just have Justin Parker do it because, dude... It just makes sense, too. But if he's too busy, because, dude, that man's been really, really busy 
with his yeah, art. Ripping out art. Dude, he's been killing it. Like he did this <laughs> he did this uh Icy Pee Wee <laughs> decide and it's literally Pee Wee Herman with his Saint Cloud Posse makeup and oh, I was dying. The dude is a genius, man. Justin Parker is just that guy for real. Really he is. Um but man, I, like I made this post on, on Facebook, and I don't normally throw my personal life out there. But I, it was like what I was telling you earlier, man. I've really felt amazing. I felt this really great connection with life and just everything in general. And um, it's been a great couple weeks, man. The podcast is an inspiring, beautiful thing because we get to talk about our stuff and uh, music is just another great great way of getting out there and expressing yourself and you know so if you're into art get out there and get it it doesn't matter how bad the world perceives your art you need to just believe in you and be the best at what you can do and it will evolve into what you want it to be it really will. Express yourself. Ask and any build artist. your world around you. No doubt, man. No doubt. Anywho, man. King Colt the Rapper. Cooper Bacorny. No doubt, man. We're going to peace out with you. But please subscribe and like our shit. And uh, tell your friends about this. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. I need a car that's off the hook. You are now listening to a Power Requires Hustle presentation.